think about the most recognizable figure from Beaver Falls. Only one name comes to mind. Broadway Joe. Joe Namath. Joe Namath. Joe Namath. Before he was a star at Alabama, before he was known as Broadway Joe, he was just known as the cocky kid from Beaver Falls that played quarterback. His NFL resume speaks for itself. Over 27,000 passing yards, 173 passing TDs, five Pro Bowls, and one guarantee. Yet there's something Joe Namath has zero of. Zero stands for the amount of plaques, streets named after him, monuments, statues, anything that exists in the city of Beaver Falls commemorating Joe Namath. Why is this a tipping point issue in Beaver Falls? Listen closely and you might pick it up yourself. We started our quest for information with Bill Iron of the Beaver County Research Center, located at the second floor of the Beaver Falls Library. What we did find out is there's an odd place where they store Joe Namath's yearbooks. Uh, we're about to find out what he has locked in this little vault here. Okay, here we go. We'll open this up, and here's the, the four yearbooks when he was in high school. And you can take a look at these, and these cover all the years that Joe's in high school. Well, but I think that if you uh, made a survey of the people, I believe that most of the people would think that something needs to be done in, in, uh, in his name and something to uh, indicate that this is where he was from and this is, this is what he accomplished in the, in the uh, field of sports. So that's what we did. We asked people in Beaver Falls, why isn't there a Joe Namath Memorial? Uh, Beaver Falls should have erected something years ago. Beaver Falls is the home of Joe Namath because Joe Namath put our city on the map. Mm -hmm. He always talked about Beaver Falls. And now you, talk, you, you think of any other uh, uh, great quarterbacks, you don't even know where they're from. But everybody knows Joe Namath from Beaver Falls. And I think that uh, our city should have done more in publicizing that he was from here. Um, no, I don't think that Beaver Falls has done enough to, to acknowledge or recognize that Beaver Falls is, is the home of Joe Namath. Um, the house still stands. Um, I ride past it, you know, on a pretty regular basis. I, you know, get my hair cut in that area down the lower end of town. And, um, you know, I always thought that that house should be a museum uh, for not just Joe Namath, but Beaver Falls sports in general. No, I, that's something that I can't understand, why we didn't name something in the city uh, for Joe. You know, back when, just when Joe was in his glory and, and, and things that he had just retired and all that, I don't understand what why that never happened. Joe did a lot of good for the town. I mean, he put the town on the map. And do they, I mean, there's nowhere, I think there's a sign, one sign somewhere that says Joe Namath. I'd have to but, ask you to take us there, yeah. I don't know where that is. I, I thought there was one down by Morrow's or somewhere in that area. Really, none. I thought there was. Oh, that is sad, you know, because he did. He put Beaver Falls on the map. Surprisingly, not everybody's on board with a memorial for Joe Namath in Beaver Falls. Matter of fact, I got about 50 to 75 emails saying all the reasons why we shouldn't have a memorial for Joe Namath in Beaver Falls. Matter of fact, this one from Gary says he pretty much snubbed the city anytime he had a chance to. Every time he came to Beaver Falls, he turned around and left as soon as he got here. And he never did anything for individual people in the city of Beaver Falls. Uh, a couple of those other people shared the same sentiments when we interviewed them. John Namath was a, a, a great guy for Beaver Falls, but I really don't see, didn't see a whole lot that he's done to give back to Beaver Falls. For, from my aspect, you know, I, I just don't feel that he's done enough for Beaver Falls. Right, but Joe Namath doesn't come back and honor us as his hometown. But I have been in every state of the United States in four European countries, and I'll still take Beaver Falls. Mm -hmm. Why do you think uh, Joe Namath doesn't come back to Beaver Falls and honor Beaver Falls? I think he should come once in a while and do something as, for the city. Mm -hmm. He grew up here. He got his start here in high school. And I just feel if he'd make a showing and have a, like when Carter came to town and everybody in town come out, if he'd come in and we say Joe Namath's going to be in town, we're going to have a parade, that would bring a lot of people out on the streets. Well. I think it's absolutely absurd that Beaver Falls has done nothing to acknowledge that, okay? Because uh, even today, I get phone calls from people because they know I grew up with Joe, okay? And it brings a lot of recognition to a town, okay? Now, 
they say, well, Joe never did nothing for Beaver Falls. Well, you had to, to be there when we were growing up. Joe lived downtown, which is not an excuse. But it kind of made it a little difficult early on. I'm sure Joe would do things now. He would be glad to come through here. But now, when Joe left here, see, Joe was a, a, a smart aleck. He was cocky. Uh, he'll never amount to anything. And plus, the kid lives downtown. I mean, what could he be worth? You know, he lives downtown Beaver Falls. It's not a college hill boy. This boy didn't live in Chippewa. He lived downtown Beaver Falls in a predominantly black area. So he can't amount to anything. And Joe grew up with that. So people ask, well, hey, Joe never did nothing for Beaver Falls. Well, hey, you never really warmed up to him. After that parade, that was the only warming up you've ever done for Joe. There may not be a Joe Namath Memorial on Beaver Falls, but it's not because nobody has tried. Matter of fact, a former football coach of his and former mayor, Bruno Campisi, tried to get a group together about 30 years ago to get a statue of Joe in the city of Beaver Falls. Well, it makes me very sad that we don't have something. And uh, I would have to tell you that the reason we don't is because